the weird outlaws of the Wild West. A lot of outlaws served their sentences in jail or were sentenced to death back in the Wild West. But not all. Some of them have been committing crimes and they just get easily away from justice. John Dillinger even said, A jail is just like a nutshell with a worm in it. The worm will always get out. It was easy to do since back then, social security numbers, driver's licenses, and other government identifications did not exist. At the end of this video, you will discover that Evans was more famous than Billy the Kid. Without further ado, let's watch the weird stories of these outlaws. Clay Allison Clay Allison was a Civil War veteran who was the best known for his bad temper. He would beat up fling a knife, and worse, kill anyone who got in his way. Many people say this was because he had a head injury that could have affected the way he thinks. Clay Allison believed that he has the right to run after lawbreakers because he was a war veteran. He usually places justice in his hands. In one instance, he dealt with a man named Charles Kennedy, a suspected serial killer. You wouldn't believe that he tied this man through his neck and dragged him while riding a horse until, of course, he was dead. It didn't end here. He beheaded the man and buried his head in a fence post. He was just one of Allison's victims of placing the laws on his hands. He always says that he would not kill anyone who needs killing. Clay Allison died in an accident when a wagon wheel rolled over him resulting in breaking his neck. Black Bart Charles Bowles, aka Black Bart, was involved in 28 stagecoach robberies in California between 1875 to 1883. To disguise his real motive, he always dresses up decently, acts polite, and never fires a gun. He was also a gentleman because he seemed not to want to terrify women. He never robs them. He was also known for his poems while robbing a stagecoach like this. Perhaps success, perhaps defeat, and everlasting sorrow. Yet come what will, I'll try it on. My condition can be worse. And if there's money in that box, tis money in my purse. He was caught in 1883, and shockingly, he pleaded guilty. He served four years instead of six. He was granted parole because of the good behavior he showed. What's even weirder is that after he steals guns in stagecoaches, he solicits donations for orphans. Jesse Evans Young Jesse Evans and his parent were involved in passing counterfeit money. And in 1871, they were arrested. A year later, he was released and worked as a cattle rustler for John Chisholm in New Mexico. Jesse Evans does not seem to learn any lesson from being sent to jail. Three years after he was released, he joined John Kinney's gang. Their gang was involved in a bar brawl on New Year's Eve of 1875 that left three people killed. He and his gang member killed Carino Fletcher. With his countless murders, he was always acquitted. He formed his gang. He was even more famous than Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid rode with his gang until the two of them separated ways during the Lincoln County War in 1878. Evans was caught after two years when they were tracked down. One of the gangs died while the rest of them surrendered. When he was inside the jail in Fort Davis, a guard, who they were calling Texas Jack, Texas Jack helped Evans escape. Not any longer, he was caught again and served two years in prison. Then he was finally released in 1882 and was never seen by anyone again. You have just discovered the weird outlaws of the Wild West. Watch the next video to discover the stories behind the saloons of the Wild West.